Good morning, 2-3. I wanted to make this video to go over something that is really important when we use Google Classroom, which is commenting. So I'm in just, for example, your reading assignment from yesterday, and um, some of you did private message me and things like that, which is great, but I also wanted to show you that I or Ms. Fascio or Ms. Pena or Ms. Carell could be private commenting you about something we're seeing in your work. We don't only see your work when you submit it. We could also be checking your work as you're going and be commenting to you about things that we want you to work on, things that we see you doing well, and so on. So you have to make sure that you're looking out for those comments. So they just pop up automatically like this. Also, if you already submitted your work, it's important that you go back and look for comments when you're done because we also, after you submit, could be commenting about your work and things that we want you to do. Okay, for example, I just made up a comment that said, please read your text carefully and go back to questions five and six. Okay, so that's just showing you something, an example of what you might have there. Um, sometimes if we feel like maybe you rushed through your work because you're getting used to working on the computer or there were some mistakes that we want you to correct, we will send it back to you after you submitted it, meaning we're telling you we need you to redo it. So you have to look for that because when you go into your account and, you're an and your assignment, it will look like this and it will say resubmit. That means that we sent it back to you and we need you to make corrections on it and then you would open it back up, you would correct things, and then you would click this button to say, okay, I'm sending it back in to try to get a better grade, okay? Because remember, yes, it's online, but we are going to be grading you. And for example, your grades are up here. So once we put in a grade, if it's out of 12 points, for example, where you could, this we gave, I gave an eight out of 12 just to show you that that's where you would find your grades once we mark it. Okay, so your work is going to be graded. So just keep that in mind. So this is a really important feature that you need to look for because that's one of the best parts about Google Classroom is that we're able to help you. We're able to comment on your work as you're doing it or even when you finished it, we could still comment and help you. So this is something that's a lot better than Class Dojo in regards to doing your work is that Google Classroom, it's more interactive with us. Um, so if you have any questions on this or you want to know more, just let me know. But please be on the lookout for comments and please be on the lookout if you ever need to resubmit your work.